look who's home. <laughs> this one here is my pride and joy. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. If you like this channel, if you like the episode, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that so we can be like conjoined buddies. I like to bounce around. As, as most of you that follow along know, I like to look at art, artists, and subject matter. For this one, we're going to focus on the subject matter of the ancient bathhouses of the Romans. We're going to find out just how smart you really are. I know I don't look it, but there was a time that I was like a finely tuned athlete. <laughs> you think that's funny? No, seriously. I was a collegiate wrestler, and uh, you know, back in the day, I used to hit it pretty hard because, you know, that's what wrestlers do. I am a master of Greco Roman wrestling. There are friends of mine, they'll go to the gym, they'll work out, they'll get done, they'll take their shower, they'll get dressed, dried off and dressed and the whole thing, go back to work and they're sweating through their clothes because they haven't stopped sweating from their workout or their run or whatever. So, we go back to the ancient Greeks. They'll teach us how to do it. They've got the knowledge that we need. I don't have anything to add to that. In the ancient Greek bath, they would have gone through a simple process that would have been pretty standard regardless of the location you would have attended. To start the process, obviously you would have gone into a changing room, participated in some sort of exercise in an exercise room or exercise yard. From there, you would have rinsed yourself off in an open air swimming pool. <laughs> From the pool you would have gone into what we would know today as a sauna, whether that would be a wet sauna or a dry sauna. Both would have been available back in the day. And this is where we start to get into the actual process of the shower. You would have began with a very hot shower. In the modern context, this is where you would soap yourself to open up those pores and clean those pores out, which is a lot more healthy for your skin. Right now I'm using a lot of natural products from the Dr. Squatch Soap Company. All of their products are available at drsquatch.com, and if you use the coupon code MICHAELBURGER15, they'll set you up really well. I like to do drawings! From the hot shower, you would then go into the warm shower. Back in the day, it would have been a warm room that was an indirectly heated room with a tepid pool. In the modern context, this is where I'm doing my hair care product. Oh, really, fool? Really? <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan. But essentially what you're doing is you're trying to lower your body temperature gradually. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty confident about all this. You should be. From the warm room, you would have gone into the cold room, which is an unheated room with a cool water basin, which was oftentimes a large scale pool again to decrease the body temperature and allowing your skin's pores to seal and close back up and that's going to keep a lot of dirt and oil from getting back into your skin but also tampering down the likelihood that you're going to start to sweat through your clothes. I've got a big fluffy towel to dry myself when I'm done. And from that pool you would have gone into a massage room or some other health treatment sort of area. There were lots of different types of facilities and options that were available. Some of those would include a cold water plunge bath, private baths, toilets, libraries, lecture halls, fountains, and other outdoor garden areas. Now several folks ask me why I like to tell all of these stories and 
I like to think of it similar to some of my friends in popular culture. That's an art of storytelling. The man tells his story so many times that he becomes the stories. And in that way, he becomes immortal. Uh, probably just as well. He would have told it wrong anyway. All the facts, not of the flavor. All of my stories, they're 95% truthful. What do I know? I color for a living, but I'd like to think that some of these ideas and stories can be passed along to other generations and other folks through the means of 21st century storytelling. And in that way, I can pass along the information that I've gained over the years to others that may have an interest in that information. I always love a good story about a Roman bath.